What's up guys? I uh, wanted to take a quick moment. I know a couple of guys have been doing updates on the new Testo 550s. Um, as far as distance and range, John M has been doing it as far as range is concerned. Um, what I wanted to touch on today was all of the other little uh, things that happen inside the, the Testo 550 itself. It, um, well, first thing that, you know, I noticed between grabbing the old one and grabbing the new one, I was holding them in my hand, and the new one's actually about a quarter of an inch smaller in both directions, which makes it a little bit easier to hold. So, that's kind of a plus. Um, well, for me anyway, it's just, it's comfortable. Nice and, nice and good. Um, the other things that I noticed upon looking at some of the documentation and whatnot was uh, Tester increased the, the ruggedness of the, the manifold itself. It is, they increased the, the bezel, so it's definitely more shock resistant. Um, they in made better caps and positive plugs for the temperature probes, which make it dust and water resistant. Um, increased battery life uh, with about 250 hours on the batteries, it, but it also has a 30 minute low battery indicator. So that's pretty cool. Um, the temperature probes themselves, they've gotten better accuracy. They're down to plus or minus less than one degree. Um, so it also, they increased the warranty from three to five years. Um, it's a little bit lighter. It's uh, 1.85 pounds as opposed to the 2.15. So even better. Um, let's see what else. As far as the app is concerned, um, I showed you in a different video as far as you know the, the different things you can see in the app. Um, they are adding some features to the app in the future. Um, in June of this year, 2015, they're going to do data logging for an evacuation. Uh, in August, they are going to do display target subcooling and superheat to monitor um, the system as it's going, which all of us know it's that's a, a great thing. So this way you're not, well, what was my superheat? What was my subcooling supposed to be? And it'll all be right there on the app. Um, so it's and the they're going to do an app support for um leak tests so you know we all know that's what i'm doing at this point now um i got my nitrogen hooked up to this new linux system and it's uh holding beautifully it's been run an hour and 29 minutes i haven't dropped anything actually it's gone up just ever so slightly so but if i could do that from the app i could be up in the attic and you know doing other things and not have to keep checking in so I just wanted to give you a, a quick, you know, overview of some of the other little added uh, bonuses that have been going on, I guess, behind everything. Um, the one big thing that I did realize with it is the, the temp with the temperature probes. Um, the increased accuracy is great, but they're also plug and play. So it's not, it's no longer where you have to have the machine off, plug them in, turn it on. This, you just jack them in wherever you are, it automatically recognizes and you go on from there. So, um, so yeah, that's, there's a few other little odds and ends. These are the ones that, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to touch on now. These were the biggest ones for me. Um, like I said, I mean, you, you wouldn't really think 2.15 pounds for the old manifold to the 1.85, but it you do notice a difference. Um, I'm no longer worried if it's foggy and it's misty and stuff out here on Long Island. You know, I, I don't have to worry about the, the these 550s as far as the, you know, the, the water and, you know, kind of moisture, dust and everything else. So, all right, here's your look. Here's a look at the way the app sits right now. So I've got my low pressure, high pressure, T1, T2, evaporation and condensing temperatures. I've got my superheat and subcooling. If I swipe this way, I can see my general grow and trends over 
over periods of time. So um, sitting on the tablet, that's the way that kind of works. If I turn it upright, I do get the opportunity then to, and the glare is killing me, to click down here and I can export any of the things in a PDF, a C CSV, or my trending data uh, to a report so I can email it, I can save it, I can do whatever I want with it. So that's that. For that, like I said, they are adding those other features. Um, so the app has just been updated uh, for 5.0. It still has got those other features, uh, Android 5.0. So it still has those other features being looked to be added. So, like I said, this is on my phone as opposed to the tablet. So low pressure, high pressure, T1, T2, evaporative and condensing temperature, and then my tar uh, superheat and subcooling. Um, I can swipe it over this way. I do get on this version of the app, I do get all of my data up top and the trending data going underneath and the nice thing is if I switch it it just switches to the trending data so very cool I can do the same things with this as I can do with the others that I can export all my information save it as a report email it to a customer I can pause the trending I can restart the trending if I felt like I needed to to you know get a, a fresh start go back to my list I can do the same you know from here also so guys very cool tool great price point for you know the device that you're getting um, so yeah that's it in a nutshell that's Testo 550 with Bluetooth Shut up and sit down.